Hey girl, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do a voiceover and walk you through my wash day routine. For this day, I had my hair up in a bun, which requires a lot of gel and got to be glue. So I really do like to take my time to get all of this product out of my hair. Now I've come a long way with my wash day because I used to do this really quick and I'll call it haphazard, where now I do put a lot more effort into what I do. So I'm using Amika products, which I've enjoyed using over the past several months months and this is their love is in the air gift set this is an older gift set but i wanted to still show you this product this is the bond hair repair conditioner and then of course i was using the bond repair shampoo and then this is the intense bond mask i'm beginning with this curl smith prebiotic product that i'm putting onto my hair as you can see rubbing it and working it into my hair and then i'm going to rinse this out and then do the shampoo Now, I don't know about you, but I love to scratch my scalp when I'm washing my hair. I know that that's technically not what we're supposed to do, but I do what works for me. And I won't lie to you, I'll make sure that I have on a fresh nail set when I shampoo my hair because I just love the way that it feels. I need to get into my scalp and break up all of the buildup. It just feels good to me. If you scratch your scalp, comment and let me know. If you're one of those people who uses their pads to wash your hair, oh my gosh, just let me know, girl. It's really important that I get all of the product out and I've learned of course with taking more time caring for my hair a lot better to get all of that product out before going in with the shampoo. I am heavy handed, okay? And I'm okay with that. So I use a lot of shampoo, especially because like I said, when I lay down my hair to do the buns, I use a lot of product. So here I'm using the Bond Repair Shampoo, working it into my scalp and then toward the end of my hair. I love when my hair is wicked sudsy when I'm shampooing it. I just know that it's working, you know? And like I said, I love a good scalp scrub. I'm gonna just go ahead and scrub my hair. Now, if you're wondering how often I wash my hair, it really is however often I need to. So whenever I lay my hair down with gel and got to be glue, that's the kind of hairstyle that would go for two days max because then it begins to look crusty. So then if that's the case and I'm doing that hairstyle all week, then I'll wash my hair every two days. Really, whenever I'm gonna change my hairstyle is when I wash my hair. So it really depends on what I'm doing to my hair because I have found with my natural hair, when it's freshly washed, conditioned, and it's wet, I can easily manipulate it to my next hairstyle, whether that's a cornrow to put underneath a wig or it's to slick it back down or even just to silk press it. I need it to be freshly washed and conditioned. And now to the Bond Repair Conditioner. So do that I'm heavy handed, so I go through conditioners way faster than I go through shampoos, as you can imagine. I need a lot of product, so I like to apply this to the scalp and also to the strands of hair. And I really did enjoy this. It felt nourishing. I've been enjoying Amika products for some time now, so thank you to Amika for sending these products to me. I love them. When it comes to conditioner, like I said, I like to use a lot. So I put it all over my hair and get it in the middle toward the ends of the strands. I need a lot of conditioner so that when I detangle my hair, which I do in the shower with the conditioner, it's just a lot easier. I make sure that I soak my hair in water as well because to detangle it well, when it comes to my hair, I need the water and the conditioner. Now, some of you might detangle with the shampoo. I don't do that. I detangle with the conditioner. I can imagine. I cannot imagine doing it with a shampoo. Look how this pattern beauty brush is just gliding through my hair so easily. I don't section out my hair to do the detangling process. If you do comment and let me know, I do not. I take the easy quickest way out and this works for me. Yes, I do have some damage. It just is what it is, okay? But this for me is the quickest way to detangle my hair because it just works. My hair is fine enough that I don't need to separate it into fours. I will sometimes separate it into two with a part down the middle of my hair, but that's about it.
And look at the glide, honey. It's giving ramen noodles curls, and I just love it. I live for it. When it comes to shedding, I do experience shedding because our hair goes through phases. So I do experience shedding, but I don't let it bother me too much. I'm still going to wash my hair and detangle it as often as I please. So here you can see my shedding. You may be alarmed. I do have to say that after having a keratin treatment over a year ago, my hair has been shedding a lot and I did not know that this was going to happen, and it has happened, and here we are. I wish it were different, but that's just what I have been experiencing. With that said, know that I will never do a keratin treatment on my hair again. It's really important to make sure that all the product is rinsed out thoroughly. Granted, it is conditioner, right? So it wouldn't be, in my opinion, the end of the world if some of the conditioner were left over on my hair, because after all, we do use leave-in conditioners, right? But I still rinse out all the conditioner as as best as I can. This is the Intense Bond Repair Mask that I put into my hair. Granted, I did not step out of the shower and leave this in for a long amount of time. It was more of a put it in the hair and let's rinse this thing on out. But I love how it made my hair feel afterward. It felt hydrated and it felt nourished, yes, to the breakage in the front of my hair, okay? We're, we're just going through all of this right now. I'm not gonna shave my head quite yet but it, it is in my future. I have shaved my hair off twice in my life, so it's not something that I'm afraid of. Just not right now. So here's a close-up of my curls with the product in my hair, and we're gonna rinse it out. And now I am gonna use a leave-in conditioner. This one is from Pattern Beauty. I don't always have a leave-in conditioner at my disposal in the shower, but thankfully I did this day. I do like to use a leave-in conditioner, especially like I said, because I do so much to my hair, right? So I like how this one is lightweight. It's not leaving a huge amount of white film on the hair, which tells me that it really is absorbing into the, into the hair well. And I just love how my curls look, and this makes it feel really, really good. And this is the part where if I were to braid my hair in two to put underneath a wig, the leave-in conditioner would come in handy because it would help keep my hair slippery while I braid it with freshly wet and washed hair. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to leave two more options for you to choose from. Make sure you watch another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.